Hello everybody, this is Kashikawa and we are here at Keala Kehe High School. End of the school year, celebrating the STEM Academy and Robotics uh, team celebration. Yeah. And I'm here with uh, Ian Denzer, you're a senior here at the high school, yep. I understand. You're also part of the robotics team and, and how did the team do? Um, so we actually did about the best we've ever done. Uh, we were knocked out in our semifinals. Um, this year's game for FIRST Robotics was significantly more um, able for upsets um, just because of the style of the game. Um, but overall, it was definitely the best robot we've ever done and a lot of firsts for us. So. And the robotics team has been around, what, six, seven years? I yeah, understand? so this is our yeah. seventh year. Wow, okay. So what, what have you gotten out of this program? I mean, were you always interested in science and STEM or did this kind of get you involved? Um, for me personally, I was always kind of interested in STEM. Um, I always planned on doing some kind of STEM major in college. Yeah. Uh, but like entering, like kind of thinking I was doing mechanical engineering and it also like, it mainly confirmed my interest in mechanical engineering and also kind of opened up some different avenues like uh, computer science and programming. Because so because of this program, it kind of kind of gave you the resources to try it out and say, this is what I want to do it, you know, maybe with a career. Or yeah, so one of the cool things about our program is that it, there are so many like industry similarities yeah. that you really do get like valuable real world experience with it. Um, because of that, like now I'm entering college, like I think some people are still undecided, but I'm pretty definitive on mechanical engineering. So yeah. Ian, you have your uh, project on display today. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so, so um, I'm the captain and driver of our first robotics competition team. Um, that's our biggest competition each year, uh, where it takes about, at about the six weeks from the beginning of January to the middle of February. Uh -huh. After that, we go out and travel for different competitions, which includes always a mainland competition, a Hawaii competition, and hopefully Worlds. So now that you're going to graduate or have graduated, where, where, where do you plan to go after this? Um, so right now, I'm planning on attending Yale on the uh, wow. fall. Well, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> but so. but is, is it important these kind of programs to help kids get into you? Colleges with you know science or STEM um, I, fields. I think main thing like especially if you see it in high school and like especially in college, um, what they're interested in and like for good reasons is like having a passion for some kind of activity, not just pure academic interests. Yeah. Um, I think if you are involved in these, it shows like that you're not only have an outside interest that isn't just purely academic, but also means that you're willing to put in time outside the normal school hour and you're really determined and dedicated to the um, cause. Now, now even if you get into these you know the STEM Academy robotics team. Even if you necessarily don't want to get into science afterwards, what else have you learned? What other job skills or life skills have you learned? So uh, there's course? two sides of that. One is that we also have uh, several other um, like different kinds of competitions, which includes GNHD, um, MUN, which are not just like purely STEM related. Um, MUNs is model United Nations, where you mimic the runnings of like the United Nations. Um, so from that, you also gain a lot of speaking skills and a lot of those soft skills where you work with other people. Um, Pro I, problem solving, coordination, well, anything, yeah, anything so, in that? And, and then inside the robotics directly, um, so much of it, like we do tons of presentations and outreach to the community. Um, one of the biggest like foundations for our like upcoming generation is by outreaching our community, which then benefits us by bringing other people in. Um, it also like, you just practice tons of soft skills all the time where you're working in small subdivisions and your other groups. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, congratulations yeah. on uh, your graduation and getting to Yale. Ah, thank you. <laughs> now, if you want to learn more about the 30 Meter Telescope Project, you can go to our website at monokale and tmt.org, and we also have a Facebook page. And thank you for uh, being on our segment. Yeah, and, thank uh, you for coming. <laughs> yeah, and we'll, we'll see you next time. So, aloha.